couple weeks ago, we couldn't buy a drop of rain. Now, right. Oh, there you We're go. We're going to get plenty more over the next several days. We'll just hope this continues right on through the rest of the rainy season. Last year, we got off to a great start to the rainy season, and then it fizzled out. Yeah. Fingers crossed. That's yes. not this time, the time, this, the, that way this time around. Boy, it's Friday. I just run out of words. Let's take a look at what we expect as we head into the weekend. Mostly cloudy skies tonight. It's not going to be as chilly because of that blanket of clouds holding some warmth near ground level. Light rain moves in from the north Saturday afternoon, continuing to drop north to south Saturday evening. This is going to be light rainfall, but then it's going to be followed up by, after a dry break on Sunday, more rain Sunday night into Monday and still more rain on top of that Monday night into Tuesday. Not enough to cause flooding problems, not a repeat of last year's atmospheric river. If this qualifies as an atmospheric river, it will be on the low end of the scale, which is beneficial. We're going to see that thickening cloud cover overhead tonight. The showers dropping into the North Bay right around lunchtime tomorrow and then progressing from north to south, dropping down towards the Golden Gate by mid to late afternoon. The different forecast models have some differing versions in terms of exactly when that rain is going to arrive in various places. And you can see this is not a widespread heavy rain event. There are going to be parts of the Bay Area that miss out on this first round of rain. And the ones that do get rain, likely less than a tenth of an inch of total rainfall, but still be flexible with any outdoor plans tomorrow afternoon and early evening. But if you have any outdoor plans on Sunday, those are looking good. We stay in that dry break most of the day Sunday before the next round of more widespread and heavier rain approaches from the north tomorrow afternoon, but moves in tomorrow evening and moving again north to south across the Bay Area mostly tomorrow night while most of us are sleeping, and then we'll be back into an off-and-on shower pattern on Monday. A good chance of additional rainfall, maybe even a couple rumbles of thunder to start off the work week on Monday. That dry break on Sunday is good news for the Golden Gate Half Marathon. It starts at 6.50 Sunday morning. You're going to be running out there running 13.1 miles. Ryan, 13.1 miles. You can do the whole thing, right? Whole thing. Whole thing. Okay. Temperature at the start of the race is going to be in the low 50s, not warming up a whole lot through the rest of the race. Let's add up the rest of those rain chances as we head through the middle of next week. Most of us looking at one inch, maybe a little more, of total rainfall with the higher elevations picking up an inch and a half to two inches of rain. Some of the very highest spots closer to three inches of rain through the middle of next week. So this is very much needed and it's in store for us as we go through the next several days. Temperatures are in the low to mid 60s right now. It's cool but not chilly. 57 degrees in San Francisco with that fog to go along with it. Temperatures tonight dropping down to the upper 40s and low 50s. That's as far as we're going to go. Temperatures tomorrow before the rain arrives about three to five degrees below average. We'll be farther below average once the rain settles in Sunday and next week. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s across the board Saturday afternoon. We're going to settle into the 50s for most of the Bay Area by Monday, Tuesday, even into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The most widespread and the heaviest rain will fall Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, and Tuesday. I think most of the showers are going to take a break Wednesday and Thursday before yet another chance of showers heads our way for the end of next week.